I want to make something clear. Moving from the personal to the political, that's an easy transition to make in an argument. Moving from the political to the personal, that's a much harder, much more vulnerable, much scarier transition to make in an argument. Now, I want to just set the record straight because I know that all you know that I love records. Um, J.D. Stryker says on a tweet just now, I'm going to have to realize one day that Mayneem and I can never be friends because my existing disputes his idea that sex work is bad. Two things. First, I don't think sex work is bad. I think it's complicated. In fact, I think it's motherfucking really complicated, and I think that anyone who thinks otherwise is kind of an idiot. And I really don't think, Katie Stryker, that you're an idiot. I think you think sex work is really complicated, too. So first of all, there's no need to reduce or be lazy or simplify something we know is complicated. There will always be people who want to simplify very charged, complicated, painful topics into black and white, yes, no, us, them things. And you don't need to be one of those people because you're better than that. Secondly, the reason we can't be friends isn't because you're existing as a problem or sex work is bad or sex work is even a problem. It's because I don't trust you to have my back when I'm hurting. That's why we can't be friends. Because you see, friendship is not about agreeing with people. Friendship is not about making sure that all of our points of view align exactly in any specific way. Friendship is about trusting people to love you when you're hurting because you need to be loved when you're hurting. Now, I loved what you had to say. I love the work you do. I kind of wish you'd go, go back to Andro Aperture because that's such a brilliant project. I basically just really support the work you do all the time. I still link to the stuff you do. I still will link to the stuff you do. I think you're pretty rad. I think you're basically an awesome activist and I wish that you had more support to do things. I wish I had more support to give you, and I don't, and one reason I don't is because I don't trust you for shit. I don't trust you to trust me, and I don't think that we actually have any kind of communication that begets a kind of friendship. But I want you to remember that friendship is not about this arguing or not. It's about communication and love. Now, I loved that thread that I retweeted of yours, just that Twitter thing that you were brilliant last night. You had such good things to say about the sex positive community self delusions. You said you don't go to sex parties anymore because now you feel like you're the last kid that's picked in gym class and that's not a good feeling. You said that when you were younger and submissive more and didn't have a better handle on your boundaries, you got asked to play with a lot more than you do now. And I empathize with that experience quite a bit, as I think we talked about on Twitter. And I feel for you, actually, because, ouch. Now, you also said something that was about flirting. You said, it's difficult to remain confident when people don't flirt with you. Again, I empathize very wholeheartedly. And I think you know that I'm being sincere about that. But if you need any reassurance, please Google my blog about flirting. I also think it's really difficult to make the point that I tried to make earlier in this conversation on Twitter about the fact that when you were interacting with Matthew Guzzo, both of you were triggered, possibly, it seemed to me that you both were. Later, I became triggered, too, and we had a bit of a spat on that. And my point in bringing this up is because I want to acknowledge my limitations in supporting you when you say things like, it's hard to be confident when you're not being flirted with. Because I want you to imagine a situation that I don't have to imagine in which the very act of flirting the very act of figuring out how to express interest in other people is a thing that's fucking painful for you and that you've been talking about this thing for ten fucking years and most of the times when people 
actually listen to conversations about this that you want to start, it's because other people have started those conversations. Other people, perhaps, who haven't spent 10 years being the last kid picked in gym class at sex parties, but who have spent, I don't know, how long has it been for you? A couple years? Three, four, five? Even? Has it really been a decade? How about when you masturbate? How about that? How about, what, is, what do you think it's like for that to be a painful experience? Because I don't have to wonder about that, you see? And so it's difficult for me to try to engage with you compassionately and to remind you that there may be other people who are hurting and to ask you to maybe consider what they're saying. In this case, not even me. Fuck me. Who gives a shit about what I think? I thought Matthew Guzzo had something interesting to say. Not even about you, but about the ideas that we were talking about. And rather than engage on that, you started to talk about you. Now, I think you're awesome and worth talking about because you're brilliant and very smart and also obviously in pain. But here's the thing. Moving from the personal, which is where you started that conversation, which I thought was brilliant and awesome and hard and I support it a lot, to hiding behind political rhetoric, calling Matthew white, cis, male, head, and thus not worth listening to, which, by the way, is how I get treated pretty much all the time when I have things to say about desire, the way I masturbate, why I don't masturbate because it fucking hurts sometimes and I end up crying. These are pains that are completely invisible and they are made more invisible by your dismissal of them. And that's not really a foundation that begets any kind of friendship. So if you wonder why we can't be friends, Kitty, let me make there be no mistake about that. The reason we can't be friends isn't because I think you're a problem or I think sex work is inherently bad. I think we can't be friends because when I ask you to please acknowledge that I'm hurting this way and that I ask you to take a look at maybe someone else's ideas that are challenging your comfort is also hurting, in this case maybe Matthew, what you do instead is deflect behind political rhetoric that has no place in a conversation about love. And that's why we can't be friends. Capiche?